Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on a brand new, incredible looking arcade game console. So this is the Pandora 18S Pro. Now before we begin, I just want to let you know that this entire video is being shot on the brand new Samsung Galaxy S21. It's a two player arcade game console which can connect to any screen or monitor via HDMI for some 720p multiplayer retro arcade gaming. Now this console supports multiple emulator games including MAME, SNES, N64, PSP, Neo Geo and the list goes on. In fact, you can find the full list in the description box. So you have all the classic arcade and console titles from Street Fighter, Fatal Fury, Streets of Rage, Tekken, Mortal Kombat and much much more. Now this arcade also has 1 gig of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. So this is the latest and most powerful Pandora box currently available with a brand new design, built in Wi-Fi so you can download more games and you already have over 8,000 games built in. So inside the box you will find a user manual, you've got two spare buttons, power cable, power supply, you get a VGA cable, USB-A to USB-A cable, an HDMI cable and of course the game console itself. First thing to say is I love the brand new design. It looks much more compact than the other Pandora boxes. It feels like it takes up less space. Build quality is quite good. The top is made from this Perspex material and you've got Ryu in the middle. You've got two joysticks, six buttons, and you've got start buttons for player one and player two. The base of the console is made from metal and you've got these uh, non-slippery feet at the bottom. You've got six of those. You can see me moving this around quite easily. It's very light. Now on the back, you've got your power button, two USB ports, a configuration or settings button. So you do have built-in speakers and you can adjust the volume for them. You also have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack so you can hook up your headphones or even an external sound system. You've got a VGA port, HDMI out and a power socket. But this unit has a dedicated switch, especially for your LED lights, which I think is a great move. Now let's have a quick look at the internals. So we've got three screws to open. One, two, and three. So now this lid should just open like a hinge. So if I lift this up, so the hinge doesn't open right out. So you do have to lift the box up a bit. But inside you can see a loudspeaker in the center and an LED light strip. You've got a cooling fan on top of that CPU and you can see all your wiring and connections for your buttons and joysticks. If you wanted to replace a button, you would simply remove the wires, pull the button out and then you can change it from here. As I just wanted to show you the internals with the power on. So you can see the fan is immediately spinning. LED lights are changing. I've got the switch here for the LED lights. Switch them off and we can get a closer look at that fan. So you can barely hear the fan, it's silent in operation, which is another plus point of this system. So we're all booted up and it brings you to this games list. So you simply navigate the games by going up or down and hit the and hit the start button on any game you want to play. So before we play any games, let's go ahead and check out the settings. So you hit the configuration button on the back and then the settings would appear. So you've got key settings, coin settings, exit mode, auto exit, select mode, image optimization, language, enter game settings and enter game market. And then you've got account management, burst settings, Wi-Fi, check for updates. And then you've got your factory data reset. So the game market is where you can download games. And this is the game market. So you've got charts, categories, search, download management. Let's go to the download charts. So here are some popular games that you can download directly from the charts. It tells you the genre, so you can see that says DC, so Dreamcast, PSP, DC, MD, Mega Drive up there. We've got Mario Kart N64. Yeah, let's try this one here. This used to be one of my favorite games back in the day for Super Nintendo. Downloading and done. So we've just downloaded a game. You can start the game from here or you can go back and I'll just show you. So the first page of games, you can see these are PSP games. 
it says 001 the first game labeled one is Tekken 6 and 10 at the bottom you've got 801 pages of games if I just hit back to show you the last game you can see that game there is 8,000 so that's 8,000 games one we just downloaded is there 8,001 so Super Mario World that's just been added now from here the first thing I do on Pandora Arcade is I edit the difficulty by default the difficulty is on hard now I know some of you ask do you always have to press start to enter coin um, I like that feature it gives you the arcade feel so what you do is instead of putting a coin in you hit the start button but if some of you find that annoying just click on always allowed and you never have to put a coin in you never have to press start the game will be ready to play all right so let's go through the games first of all see what we have here so Tekken 6 we've got Tekken 5 Soul Eater Weekly Mortal Kombat oh 3D version that looks sick Ridge Racer 2 Pro Evil Soccer 2012 and 2014 now that's quite interesting because emulating the Pro Evo games on PSP is a struggle for most emulators so that's probably going to be one of the first games we're going to test it looks like it's going to be smooth wow come on If you press the start button during gameplay you can actually save the state from any position and then you can load and carry on at any time but right now I'm going to exit this game I'm going to go back to the list and I want to quickly try Pro Evo 12 as well Let's straight away try Mortal Kombat PSP. Let's do this. So there you have it guys, that was the latest Pandora Box 18S Pro. Now I will be sharing another video over at Chigsy's gaming channel where you can see more in-depth gameplay footage and more about the games lists. I will also link that gameplay video on the screen right now and in the description box below. This is without any doubt the best Pandora Box I have used so far. The system feels much faster than the previous versions. I absolutely love the new design of the case and it's also much lighter in weight coming in at under 6 kgs. I like that you have built in Wi-Fi and a store to download lots of free games. I also like that you have a dedicated button for the LED lights and also a cooling fan. The resolution looks great but you do have the option to enable scan lines. I personally prefer to game in HD but I know some of you like to play retro games in scan line mode as it gives you that more authentic feel. Well, at least you have a choice. Now, you're definitely not going to get bored. There are plenty of games to keep you busy. Controls feel great, and there's very minimal input lag, so nothing that will affect the enjoyment of this console. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out for yourselves. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.